On this episode of Homefront, Operation Maestra kicks off as U.S. and NATO forces continue to push out the Taliban. Marines in Iraq draw down to the lowest numbers since the start of Operation Iraqi Freedom. The U.S. military continues to provide relief to the people of Haiti. An Iraqi artist is able to express himself without the fear of reprisals. And the Army Corps of Engineers help preserve an Eskimo community. Here's Homefront with Catherine Cullen. Welcome to this edition of Homefront. We begin Afghanistan, where U.S., NATO, and Afghan forces are working to establish government control during Operation Mastrak. Our Homefront correspondent Mel Prim brings the story from the city of Maja. There's a new team in town, and they're about to try out a new approach to operations. It'll bring together military and civil efforts the Afghan government and international actors all part as one mission. The prize? Central Helmand, in particular the town of Marja, a major poppy growing region which until now has been dominated by the Taliban. In the past, the aim of the operation was only to clear the areas and keep the forces there. But this time it is different. This time the international forces and ANA forces will start the operation, take the areas and at the same time start development and reconstruction programs. The news of the operation has been out for a while now. The Afghan government, along with ISAF, want to give insurgents the opportunity to lay down their arms. They also want to warn local residents about what's going to happen and why. So we're trying to create a situation where we communicate to them that when the government re-establishes security, they'll have choices. They'll have choices on the crops they grow. They'll have the ability to move uh, that, that produce to appropriate markets. What's also different about this operation is that for the first time, the Afghan National Security and ISAF forces are in complete partnership, embedded together, planning together and conducting the operation together. And the second thing that is different about it is the uh, coherent planning right the way through each phase of the operation from this initial military phase to secure the area into uh, the delivery of civil effect, development, governance, uh, justice and jobs, all of those things that people want on the ground. Therefore, it is a genuinely integrated operation between the Afghans and the international forces and between the civil and the military. Securing Central Helmand probably won't be the hard part. The main challenge is likely to be the rollout of the civil assistance packages afterwards. It's untested ground, but if it comes off, then many operations like it will follow. Mel Green in Afghanistan. Hi, this is PV2 Chloe Barnes from Pleasant Grove, Utah. Right now I'm here at Cobra Gold in Utapau, Thailand, doing broadcasting and public affairs. Just want to give a shout out to my family back home. Remember who you are and what you stand for, and I'll be home soon. See ya. Specialist Casey Chambers, 203rd MP Battalion, operating in Basra, Iraq. Just want to give a shout out to my family, my friends back home in Florence, Alabama. Miss y'all. See y'all soon. Coming up, we meet a soldier serving in Afghanistan far from his Haitian family and an Iraqi artist is able to express himself free from opposition. All these stories and more are coming up when Homefront continues in a moment. That's it for this edition of Homefront. Tune in next week and we'll feature more stories of our armed forces soldiers who makes an impact on our home front and around the world. I'm Kathleen Cullen. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.